St. Gregory's Sandwell motto, Loving and Learning, has a new love of maths. They've adopted visualization and are using the technique to teach division. It relies on two places made special in the children's minds, a maths store and a maths table. The movement of cups between the tables and their arrangement on the maths table are being used to establish a pattern for division. The evidence is on the children's faces. They are very, very excited by this curriculum and the way it's being taught to them. They are finding that they're engaging wholeheartedly with the techniques that are being offered to them. For some time now at this school, we have worked on looking at different learning styles. So it is appealing not only to our audio uh, children, but also our children that learn visually and kinesthetically as well. Anne Farrell is teaching year three, and she suggests we keep an eye on Clara, who has found maths challenging but is now striding ahead, Christine, who finds the basics of counting still need attention, but whose confidence is on the up and up, and Callum, who's keen, enthusiastic and able. It's the looking, it's the visualisation again, it's looking at what you are doing. Right, I'm going to take some cups from this table and count them for me as well. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six. OK, and they're going all the way over here. I've got six cups, well done. And they're going on here. You check that I've got six. Are you still looking? You're looking. That's really good. Right, I've got six cups on the maths table. I'm going to do something with them now. You ready? You're looking. Keep looking. You don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right. How many cups have I got on the maths table? Callum. Six. Well done, Callum. That was really good. And I wonder if anybody knows what I might say about these six cups. Ooh, we're going to ask Sam. Um, they're the same because they like that. They might be in just sets, but they are just they're just the same because you've got the same amount. Well done, Sam. So what we've got here is something I want you to try and remember. Same value, different appearance. Can you all say that again for me? So establishing that you can group things but they will still have the same value is Anne's starting point to introduce division. Anne wants the children to use a specific action every time they see the division sign. Then here's that sign, that symbol. And we're all going to do something you might think is a little bit funny. Because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to wonder. I'm going to look at it and wonder. Can you all look at it and wonder for me? I look at it and wonder. And I'm going to show you now what you've got to look and wonder about. All right. We're going to look at it and wonder how many piles of two cups. Ready to look? Ready? Because here's a pile of two cups. Here's a pile of two cups. And here's a pile of two cups. Who knows how many piles we've got? Peter. Three. Shall we check? You ready? One, two, two three. three. Three piles on the maths tables. All right, let's read together what Mrs. Farrell has just acted out for you. All right, shall we read it together? Six, Six divided, divided by two equals three. In whole class lessons, Anne uses demonstrators, carefully chosen to model to the other children and to help with their own confidence. Well, Clara is one of those girls who's really moved on with the use of this visualisation. Last year, we would probably say she was probably a little bit below able, but she's really, really come on a lot this year. Do you know how many cups you've got to get? Oh, fantastic. All right. Now 
you tell me how many you need. All right, so you ready? Five, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. Can you go and put those on the maths table for me? That's a good girl. One. Six cups on the maths table. Right, are you ready? Going to use that symbol again. The division sign. But we're going to use our action with it. Are we all ready? We're going to... I look at it and wonder. When you're dividing a number by itself, suddenly children appear to think there is something different about what you are doing. Right, so, are you ready? So, what have I got to do with these, Christy? See, so suddenly they're a little bit flunked, but they, they trust you, and so they're willing to go along with you. Falling to a pile. Let's have a look, because we've got to make a pile of six cups. Right. How many piles have I got? How many piles can you see? There's just... Brilliant! There is just one pile. Did everybody see that? Are you sure? Is everybody sure that if we have six divided by six, how many piles have we got? One! Fantastic! That's really good. What do you think? Uh, six. Fantastic! Did you all hear what Callum said? And do you agree? Give him the thumbs up if you agree that we've got six piles. Oh, brilliant! The introduction of a fraction just in the normal run of things makes it appear normal. So we're going to use a bit of a cup and look at it and wonder and do exactly the same. What sort of piles are we looking for? Kieran. Half. Fantastic. Well done. Are we all looking at it and wondering how many piles of half cup? How are we going to do this? What could we do with this cup? What could we do with this cup, Louisa? It's popped out of my head now. It's popped out of your head. Don't worry, we'll get somebody to help you. Change it into um, a, a half cup. Change this into a half cup? Because there's half cups on the left side. Shall we do that? Let's have a look. Year three's confidence with division is starting to show in paired work towards the end of the lesson. So it'll probably be the same as four. Except, yeah, except we're not using six, we're using four, so the answer would be one. So, so the answer would be one. That's it. Simple. It's just simple. Half a cup. That's it's the one. It's one. It always works. It's just done there. Some have discovered a rule for themselves. Mia, what do you think? One. Thumbs up if you think it's one as well. <gasps> oh, wow, you're absolutely right. Would anybody then like to tell me what rule we could have for you? Are you three thinking about all of this? What have we found out? Callum. Whichever number is divided by itself, the answer is always one. Well done, Callum. That's really good, isn't it? I think that maybe later on in our next lesson, 
perhaps tomorrow we can have a look at using that rule and using some bigger numbers. Having introduced visualisation to a class, it doesn't mean that you have to continue having the children in rows. It is easy to put them into their ability groups, as most teachers tend to do. 60 divided by 30. What do we have? Two. I like the way you whiz down writing that straight away. It shows really good understanding. Well done. So here we go. Here's a pile of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Right, we're going to look at it and wonder. Right. How many piles of 200? Kieran, can you do that for me? How many piles of 200? So if we do 600. <laughs> Divided by 200. Oh, look at these people whizzing away. You've already done that. And oh, we've got three. How good was that? That is fantastic. Well done. Right. Anne's moved Callum's group on, applying their new knowledge of division to increasingly large numbers. Meanwhile, Christine's group is using the support of the cups and their own personal maths table to gain confidence in the basics. Lovely. And um, can you remember, Elliot, can you remember the sign that we're using? Uh, Daniela, can you leave your six on the stool for me, please? Oh, fantastic. Good boy. It's going to be six. So we're going to look at it and wonder how many pounds of six. We can get many piles of six cups. So would you like to try it for me? Right, you're going to move them over to your maths table. Right, move it to your maths table. So how many? No, no, you've moved them into the pile, that's fine. How many piles have we got there? After just one week, some children are working independently with quite large numbers. Most can divide a range of numbers mentally, but some are using counters to visualize their thinking. teaching a year three class and again I was doing division and I had a little boy in my class who found it extremely difficult and suddenly shot out of his seat and said Mrs Farrell I've got it it's easy I can do it I can do it and it was one of those really wonderful eureka moments it was wonderful and from that day on I was hooked I knew this was the right way to go.